The disciples of John approached Jesus and said, Why do we and the Pharisees fast much, but your disciples do not fast? Jesus answered them, Can the wedding guests mourn as long as the bridegroom is with them? The days will come when the bridegroom is taken away from them, and then they will fast. The Gospel of the Lord. Today is the first Friday of Lent. It is a special day. In my city, I remember since I was a child and still happening now, today is a day when many people went to the Basilica of the Christ of Medina Sally. On this day, the line of worshippers went and still go around the same big block where the temple is to venerate the sacred image of our Lord on his way towards the Praetorium to be judged. It is a day in which the believers try to fulfill one of the norms of the church and of this Lent by going to confession. It is also a day in which the church asks us to do abstinence, not necessarily fasting, although fasting would also be advisable. Fasting days are Ash Wednesday and Good Friday. The days of abstinence are all year around, but during the year such abstinence not eating meat can be replaced by a sacrifice, although this may not change during Lent. Therefore, during Lent, we should not eat meat on any Friday, in addition, of course, to Ash Wednesday. However, what is the purpose of this? The objective is to teach us that we are a single human being that is body and soul, that we have two dimensions, a bodily and a spiritual one. We're not our soul locked up in the body as if in a prison and that we are not our body. That is not like that. My body is who I am. My body is unique and unrepeatable. This body that is aging, getting sick and that one day will die is me. This unique body has a unique soul, a soul breathed by God in the moment I was conceived by my father and my mother. I am made up of two dimensions, one bodily and one spiritual. That is why when we recite the creed, a part of the creed refers to the resurrection of the flesh, because we are not only our soul, but also our flesh, our body. Christ resurrected in both body and soul. The apostles touched him, listened to him, embraced him. Now, if this is so, when I pray, I must also pray with my body. I really like to see how the Jews pray. It may seem curious, strange, bizarre to some, but when they pray, they move gently, not hysterically, their whole body. Precisely because of this, their body also has to give glory, praise, gratitude to God. This is what we want to represent with fasting. We are asking for forgiveness with our heart, but we are also asking for forgiveness with that other essential part of my own being, which is my body. I want to express my repentance, not only begging the Lord to have mercy on me and to forgive me in the intimacy of my heart, in confession, but also with my body. Furthermore, not only do I want to express with my body my petition of my supplication for forgiveness, but I also want to feel some of what the Lord suffered on the cross with my body, acknowledging that there is practically no comparison to his suffering. Of course, we suffer with our body when we have an illness, for example, but the church also asks us to feel suffering with fasting. The purpose of fasting is for our body to participate in the passion of the Lord. In reality, any comparison is really pure coincidence, but something, at least something, and that our body participates in the request for forgiveness. I humbly ask you, Lord, for forgiveness with my whole being, with my soul and with my body. However, my body must also bear in mind other bodies. My being must bear in mind other beings. I must bear in mind other selves. That is to say, I have to be aware of other people who are hungry, other people who are suffering, other people who are perhaps full of fear, like Jesus Christ in the Garden of Olives. That is why it is also a day in which the Church recommends charity during Lent and all year long, but particularly on Fridays in Lent. Not only fasting, not only abstinence, but that fasting, that abstinence is 
transformed into alms. I save because I fast. I don't know how much it will be, a few cents or a few dollars. It depends on what each one spends. I save because I fast. Such saving should not go to increase the money I have in the bank, but it should go to increase my charity. I save and that is precisely why I commune, that is, I put in communion with those who don't have what I have saved. Fasting, fasting of the body, repentance of the soul, fasting and charity. This is the message for the first Friday of Lent. Amen.